Are you looking for HD video glasses? Like glasses with a little camera in them? I got these right here. I'm returning them to Amazon. I wanna tell you guys all about it in this video. First of all, hi. Hide all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that I like to use. And well, these I, I don't really like, <laughs> so I'm going to return them. And I want to tell you guys about that today. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So what we have here are these uh, HD video camera sunglasses. It says sunglasses on there, but they're actually not sunglasses. That's the first thing that I noticed right whenever I pulled these out of the box. It's just plain old uh, like plastic lenses in there. There's nothing sunglassy about them. And I was kind of hoping for something more sunglasses like. Uh, just to give you an idea, I did an unboxing of it, but it does come with a little carrying case and a little cleaning cloth. Um, but the issue that I'm having with this, one is whenever you put an SD card in there, it goes right here in this little itty bitty slot right there. Can y'all see that? There you go, right there, that little slot. There's like a little bo uh, electronic board right there. The SD card just slides right into there. First of all, this is kind of bowed down almost into this piece right here. So it's really hard to get this SD card out and in. So whenever you go to put it in, what I had in and out, what I had to do is kind of bend this just a little bit like that so that a little piece of it would stick up. Then you'd have to have your nail or like some tweezers or something to be able to just grasp the little lip. Let me find an SD card. Where's my GoPro? The little lip that's on all SD cards because it is a micro SD card. It's one of these small ones. And you see how most of them have like this little tiny, I don't know if y'all can see that, little bump right there. And so you kind of have to like really push down on this put it in and then whenever you want to take it out you gotta like grab the little nub right here with your fingernail if you even have long enough fingernails to be able to get it out of there before it actually comes out there's no like whenever you put it into a gopro you put it in you press it it clicks in and then whenever you want to take it out you push and then it kind of pops up and then you can grab it like that. This doesn't have that, that, that pop out, that spring action feature to it. It just simply slides in there and it's kind of stuck in there. You, it, you can't push it in to make it kind of pop out to get it past this piece right here so that you can actually grab it. So that's one thing that I really did not like about these particular glasses. But the main reason why I do not like these glasses, and if y'all watched my previous video about the audio and video test of it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Or you might know what I'm talking about. I haven't mentioned it, or I mentioned it previously a little bit, but whenever you're wearing these, this is your camera right here. And whenever I made that video, and I made a test video before then, which I had the same issues, whenever I was looking into the mirror, I could see my mouth moving with uh, with the 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 uh, what I was seeing in the mirror. And the problem is that the audio and the video were out of sync, and. I know most of you guys probably, it may not matter to you whether the audio is in sync because you kind of want to use it as like a spy thing, but to have like, if you're doing something over here and then you're, you move to over here, but you're still talking, like the, the motion that you're doing here is not going to match what you're doing over here if you're using the audio from the camera. And so that was a really big issue for me. My idea for using these was that I wanted to create a, a review video of lifetime warranties of me taking products to the store and being like, hey, this has a lifetime warranty on it. Will you be able to help me with this? And, you know, we'd go through the whole thing. But whenever the audio doesn't match what's actually happening on the camera, on the screen, it's, it's just, it's not going to work. It was off by like a good... 10 seconds, I'd say, and I think the longer the video file went on to be, the more it got corrupted. And what, what I found interesting, too, is that I thought it might have just been, because I read the directions for it, and in the directions, I don't know where they are now, in the directions, it mentioned that it's not compatible with a MacBook, and that's mainly what I use right here is my MacBook Pro. And whenever I imported the first clip into it, and I just wanted to watch it to see what it looked like, um, I imported the footage and it QuickTime converted it into something because it is an AVI file. And I figured maybe whenever it did that conversion, it had some kind of audio uh, video out of syncness that happened. Uh, but whenever I went and shot the video that I uploaded to the channel, the audio video test out of it, I took that 
exact file without it being converted. And I just uploaded that straight to YouTube. That is the raw file from the glasses to YouTube. And we still had that audio video out of sync issue. And so uh, that was the main issue that I have with that camera. So I, I cannot recommend these. If you guys want to check them out, y'all can go read other people's reviews about them. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description below. The other issue that I had with this, and I believe I mentioned it in the previous video, is that the quality of the, it's supposed to be a HD video 1080p. It does come out as HD being that it's in the shape of HD, you know, the big 1080 uh, frames. The problem with it is that it looks like a potato. We were shot on a potato. It looks horrible. Uh, it's very, very pixelated, not very good quality. And it's probably just due to the quality of the camera and the size of the lens that they could actually get into this little bridge right here. So um, those are the three main issues for me. They were big issues for me. And so I am definitely returning these to Amazon and I cannot recommend them. If you guys know of any other really good spy glasses or camera glasses that actually have the audio and video in sync, I would love to know which brands you guys have tried out there. Let me know down in the comments below. Y'all put some links. We kind of come together as a community of dads and figure out what is that great pair of camera glasses so that we can have our hands free and we won't look like an idiot with a GoPro strapped to us somehow. I just thought that this was a really unique way to do it, and uh, I like the way that the glasses actually looked on my face, as opposed to like that Google Glass type of thing, uh, where they have like the little camera thing right here. I'm sure that that was pretty good. I never got a chance to, to test that out, but it just has like that too weird futuristic look. I know Snapchat spectacles would be something that I would like to try out. I need to see if I can get some of those. I'd actually really like to play with those, but I don't think that those are going to give me that HD quality that I'm looking for. Also, I believe Apple could possibly be working on something like Apple glasses, which I would kind of be interested in. So uh, hopefully we'll see something like that in the future. But as of right now, I liked the cleaning cloth, the carrying case. I liked the look of the glasses. I wish that they were sunglasses or transition glasses. That would actually be super cool if somebody made that. But uh, from a quality perspective, I have to give these the no-go. The dad does not like. If you guys want to see the unboxing or the camera uh, video and audio test, I'm going to put those videos right there on the screen. You guys go click those videos. I'll see y'all in those videos. Thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is appreciated and dad out.